Good day, students. This is Mrs. Chaka, your English lecturer for NCV. Today we are going to discuss Module 5, Meeting Documentations in the Workplace. One person can ask, what is a meeting? A meeting is a gathering of two or more people. This may happen either formally or informally. Meetings happen every day. For instance, when you come to my class, we have a meeting, and that kind of a meeting will be your formal meeting. When you meet a friend, you have a meeting. When you are going on a date, you are going to have a meeting. You will have a meeting either with a lady friend or a boyfriend. Meetings occur in different manners. All right, I've made up some notes that are going to assist us in understanding the different types of meetings we have in the workplace and why it is important for us to have meetings in the workplace. There are documents that you should be exposed with when you are dealing with meetings, such as your uh, notice and agenda, your minutes. But we'll get to that in a minute. For now, let us look at the notes that I've provided you with. Okay, like I have already explained to you, the definition of a meeting, it is a gathering of two or more people to discuss matters of common interest, to make decisions based on discussions, and to make sure that decisions are implemented. Meeting procedures, what are they? It is important to know the background to the meeting procedure before meeting documents can be explained. Like I said, I've just explained to you now, when we talk about uh, the meeting documentations, we're talking about notice, agenda, and minutes. Any society or a club consists of members, like I've explained to you. Some of these members will be elected or appointed to deal with various aspects concerning the smooth running of the organization on a daily basis. They will give reports from time to time, recommending changes to procedures or methods to improve productivity, etc. Committee members, or another name for them could be office bearers, consist of the following. We will have a chairperson, who controls or chairs the meeting. We'll also have the vice chairperson who takes over the responsibility if the chairperson is not available. We will have the secretary who is responsible for administration and correspondence. The treasurer who is responsible for finances in the organization. The types of meetings that we are going to talk about. Firstly, let us talk about public meeting. Public meetings may be attended by any member of the public to discuss matters of social, environmental, or economic interest. Notices of these meetings usually appear in the newspapers, pamphlets, or posters. Private meetings, although non-members are sometimes invited to attend, they are not allowed to vote. Private meetings are usually attended by members who have a right to vote. Notices are sent directly to members and most private meetings are general meetings, such as meeting of the sports club, cultural society, school governing bodies, churches, church councils, etc. Et general meeting. An example of a general meeting are frequent meetings are held regularly or specified in intervals. For example, a frequent meeting can happen weekly or it can happen monthly or quarterly. Annual general meetings are held once a year 
when the chairperson presents a report or the treasurer presents the financial report. A beautiful example of an annual meeting, we can look at our parliament, you know, where uh, the president has to give us a report or Mr. Tito Mboweni, our treasurer or finance, um, uh, uh, finance minister is gonna give us a report based on finances. Special or extraordinary meetings are called to discuss unexpected or urgent matters that cannot wait the next for the, until the next scheduled monthly or quarterly meeting. Let me repeat that again. Special or extraordinary meetings are called to discuss unexpected and urgent matters that cannot wait until the next scheduled monthly or quarterly meeting. 